I'm Shakib and this is Master X. So today we have a Havoc OS 2.0 on a Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is the ROM which has a lot of customization. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, the interface kind of look like this. This is uh, the interface. You can see this is the recent uh, menu and you will have this Google uh, newsletter over here on the uh, left side. So the build number of uh, this ROM is 24th of February. So you can uh, see this is a fairly new ROM. In terms of uh, opening the app, this ROM is performing good. Call quality and the other things, the network performance performance on this ROM is fairly good. Display of visibility in the sunlight is also good. Camera is similar to the Mi A1. You will get this kind of a thing and also you can record a 4K uh, in this app and you can always install the Gcam also. Uh, battery life is decent on this ROM and also we have a display over here. You can uh, change a lot of things over here. Brightness is there and the expand and screen saver and you can change the size of uh, the font over here. You can change the size of a display. Uh, let me go to the default one over here. So this is what you will get when you flash the ROM. So Havoc OS has a lot of customization. Over here we get the status bar and quick settings and whatnot and all the interface you can change the this color which you can see it over here this is a blue color you can change it to any color you want this is the theme color you can change it and uh, this is the palette colors over here you will see this is the night mode and a hell lot of customization you can do with this the ambient display you, you always know the ambient display is always on after you after your device is going into the sleep and the screen one of the standout feature of this rom i like is this the screen stabilization you will see this is like something different from any other rom so i like uh, this uh, feature it's going on to the other things we will get the buttons and you you will change uh, the buttons and you can customize it uh, power button you can customize this uh, part of the button on the settings so the navigation bar has uh, a lot of things over here you can change it to smart bar and uh, let me just you can change this you will see this kind of a settings over here so you will de do a lot of uh, customization and uh, we have a portrait height and uh, the things over here here's the gesture lock screen recent you can change the recent quick uh, step into the android go slim uh, let me show you the stock one it will restart your UI for a few seconds after you do that so don't be panic and just just a few over here you will get the stock uh, interface and if you want to change it into something different and uh, you will go with the Android Go one so here is the Android Go uh, recent menu so yeah you will get this kind of a uh, thing so yeah you can do a hell lot of things and you will change the recent menu on this ROM the notification you will get the you can customize the notification over here uh, animation and the method of input battery saving mode so over here we get the miscellaneous you can do uh, whatever you like there are a lot of customization so i'm not doing uh, every part of a bit on this uh, on this customization so keep in mind you have a lot of option to customize so don't be afraid of uh, changing around moving things experience the new things explore this rom and uh, you will good to go so yeah so in terms of bugs i have not experienced any kind of a bug on this rom uh, i've been using it for a couple of days now and uh, the rom performs really smooth if you are looking for any stable rom this is the one you can go with it this is a very stable rom you can use as a daily driver and yeah i would recommend you to install this uh, rom so yeah so that's all guys thank you for watching and uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit like comment share and more videos like this thanks peace bye